Tape alert. Tape alert. Man, like, I do parties, man. You know, and I say, when I get out the streets, I say, okay, I'm out the streets. Niggas ain't, niggas ain't got no reason to like me no more. I'm not in the streets no more. I'm not selling drugs. I'm not a drug dealer. I'm going to become a party promoter. Yeah. Feel me? I'm out the way. I finally made it out the way. Feel me? Now, the party promoting game became worse than the motherfucking streets. These slimy motherfuckers with no character, club owners, slimy ass niggas you get in the world. Now, in the streets, you know, or in prison, you know. If you cross a nigga, nines out of ten, you gotta handle your business. Feel me? Feel me? Now you, you cross a nigga in the projects, or a nigga, a nigga, you see a nigga, you gotta handle your business. Today, you in a cutthroat world where niggas do shit, tell on you, but they don't consider telling. They tell the owner, you know what he done last night? He stole a bottle. Damn, my nigga. But they don't consider that telling because they feel they trying they, they trying to shoot shuffle with the owner. Man, it's all type of snake shit. Niggas hated me for, for being a promoter. I said, my nigga, I'm only promoting parties. I'm not even a street nigga no more. My nigga, I'm out the game. You know what I'm saying? And people can't understand. The, the party promotion game, I came in by a storm. I know what they say. They say, yo, it went for XL. XL was tipping you bitches before I got there. Let's get this clarified now. Tipping and you was fucking my cousin before I got there. He was coming up, he was in the strip clubs before the promoters, doing what him do. Nothing to do with me. Yes. Don't, say, don't say like he came to my party, made my party better, nigga. He was big tipping you bitches. So now when I get in the party game, Pete, I fucked the party game up for 10 years straight. I'm talking about Pete. I buried these clubs. I gave people some of the best motherfucking birthday party, their first birthday parties. I made some of the strippers the most money they made in their motherfucking life. You know what I'm saying? I picked them on. Like the dope boy took this. You know, you know what that nigga said to me the other day? Well, he ain't really, he wasn't really, oh, he wasn't that good of a promoter. What? <laughs> it weren't for me. You niggas wouldn't be promoting. I created this shit, my nigga. I, so, I, I sleep well at night knowing that I created something that you niggas are doing. That came from me. You know what I'm saying? I I fought men all that. I went from Jersey to Staten Island. Cause they said, cause they said one time, he just do parties in Jersey and was saying, like, he from downtown Elizabeth. So everybody gonna come to his party. Okay, all right, we're gonna go to Staten Island then. I went to Staten Island and get crazy parties. I went everywhere, Patterson, every party, and they still these motherfuckers have a, a two-month run and say, I you know, he ain't better than me. Bro, come on, bro. You good good parties now, man. I like your party. So I left the party game to get my 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 my, uh, my clothing line together, my yeah. brand. So that when I come back to the club, when I come to the clubs, my shit gonna be in the party club selling. I'm trying to teach you promoters right here. When they open this world up and they give give me my give, give us all our vaccine shots that we're gonna take, right? <laughs> Y'all don't want to talk about that, but when they open this world back up, Pete, they're gonna take these fucking shots. I'm gonna give some of the most craziest parties. So I'm gonna say you promoters, listen to me. It's about it's a friendly competition now. Don't get mad when I boot y'all out the way. Because I'm gonna crush you motherfuckers. So when you don't see me, I'm in this office. I'm working, I'm building, I'm studying. Cause when I come back, anything I come back and I'm gonna do, for me, because let me tell you, there's this old saying, there's battles and there's wars, people. I'm gonna let these guys hear this right here. When you're on the battlefield, you have war. You see these. You see these movies. They, they got. He got the left wing, the right wing. Remember, he's sending soldiers out there. Sometimes you got to retreat. Sometimes you can't be like, hold the bridge. Whatever you do, hold the bridge. You see these movies, right? Now, he might leave, lose the bridge, but at the end of the day, guess what he won? He won the war. He won lots of few battles, but you win the war. You know what I mean? The outcome, being around. I've never lost, my nigga. I've never lost. Feel me? When people say I lost, no. I didn't lose. When if I, I, I wasn't the right time. I know that you got to be out here for your family. I said to myself, when my son walked out of prison, when my son walked out of prison, I will be right there standing, my nigga. I'm not one of them fathers they kid go to jail and they turn his back on his son. 
and they're out here in a party giving buying girls and all this shit, everything, giving all type of motherfucking bag, back on um, back on um, bags and buying helping them out, going to help their kids out, let their kids rot in jail. Don't stand by their son. I'm one of them fathers that said, nah, I'm for my son 24-7, nigga. My son, I'm going to give my son everything I get. In his, I'm going to make sure he walk out of them jails. You know I mean? And my son had his back against the wall. He had two murders. Two. Fighting for his life. You know I mean? I'm going to see him every day, tell him to pee. Yeah, this ain't nothing. We got this. It's a smooth situation. I talked to the lawyer. He'll be out here in no time. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? I would tell him anything, all type of bullshit to keep his motherfucking motivation up. Lying to the nigga. Exactly. Lying, but it's because what? I couldn't break his spirit. I can't break his spirit. But I knew for a fact that I was going to let no one take me off these streets. I wasn't going to sell no one's drug to be in jail with him and can't help that boy fight for his life. So you got to take sacrifices when you're in a game like that. When you become a man, you have to take five. If you're not willing to take sacrifices for your kids, oh, you're not a man to me. You're not a real nigga to me. I don't give a fuck which. I don't give a fuck how much money you got, nigga. Two or three forms for the summer. For the summer nigga. Skating through your block, niggas yelling cowabunga. You can get the files for the low. For the low.